the fundamental question is, in a day, how much of your thought, emotion, physical activity, breath, heartbeat and just about everything else is conscious? How much of you is happening consciously? What is not conscious inevitably is happening unconsciously. This simply means largely accidentally in reaction to life situations around us. Well, if you want to understand the consequence of functioning unconsciously, uh, you take your bicycle. If you don't know how to balance, pick up your car. I said bicycle because with car you may damage other people's lives. You get onto your bicycle and ride a couple of streets. Ninety percent of the time, keep your eyes closed and ride. You know where we have to pick you up, right? Well, that's what is happening to life. If you are conducting your life unconsciously, not being conscious of the way you think, the way you feel, the way your body is, the way your breath and heartbeat is, then fundamental life process is happening unconsciously. In this unconsciousness, how many hits you have in your life, how many people's life you damage, how much damage you cause to yourself, all of this is happening accidentally. When you live accidentally, when you get into an accident or when you're about to get into an accident, you're definitely anxious. So when you live accidentally ninety percent of the time, anxiety becomes a normal process. Today, everybody is going about weaving philosophies, how anxiety is normal. Anxiety, anxiety is not, is not normal. normal. Just look back on your life and see, when you were five years of age, joy was normal, isn't it? Anxiety was not normal. Now, life invested a certain amount of joy in you as an insurance for you. If at the age of five, if you are that joyful, by the time you are thirty, you should have been ecstatic. But because of unconsciousness, because of compulsive behavior, you have enslaved yourself to your own thought process, to your own emotion and to life situations around you. Because of this, life is happening the way it is happening. If you become little more conscious about your existence, about the nature of your existence, you will, you will see, see you, you can, can conduct, conduct your, your life, life the way you want and become a master of your own destiny.